To balance this equation, KOH plus SO3, that's potassium hydroxide plus sulfur trioxide, count the atoms up on each side. One potassium, one oxygen, and be careful, we have three more oxygens over here. So we have a four total oxygens, one hydrogen and one sulfur. Product side, we have two potassium atoms, oxygen, four, plus we have the one over here. So we have five, two hydrogen atoms, and one sulfur. So to balance it, why don't we start with the potassium? Let's leave the oxygen and hydrogen till last. So I'll put a two in front of the KOH, one times two, that'll give me two potassium atoms. They're balanced. Let's update the oxygens and the hydrogens. So two times the one, that gives us two oxygens plus the three here, that gives us five. Hydrogens, two times the one, that gives us two. And this equation is balanced. That's all we needed to do was to put a coefficient of two in front of the potassium hydroxide. It's often helpful to leave the oxygen and hydrogen atoms till last when you're balancing. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KOH plus SO3, potassium hydroxide plus sulfur trioxide. Thanks for watching.